Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 413. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Upset link, and you can download the workbook, Magic Trick 407 to 414. Hey, this trick is going to have to do with copying data from websites, pasting it into Excel, and then having all sorts of bad stuff happen. Now, here's the situation. We have some numbers, and our goal is to codify in this column. Anytime there's one or zero characters, we want a blank. If there are two characters, we need the number one. Anything above two, uh, three or uh, five here, needs to have the number two. So if we copy and paste our numbers like this, here's a formula we could use. Equals if. And the logical test is going to be, hey, tell me if the length, which counts how many characters there are, if that's less than or equal to 1, then put a blank. Otherwise, second if, in the value of false, if the length is equal to 2, then put a 1. That's the value of true. Otherwise, all other numbers are 2. Now, this if, it's very important. We included everything less than or equal to 1. 2, so the only thing that is left is everything bigger than 2. All right, so that formula works if, we copy it down, if the data is uh, not messed up. Now I'm going to copy this. These are all relative cell references. So I'm going to copy and come down here and paste, and then double click and send it down. Now, we can see that there is a problem, right? This, for some reason, the formula is thinking that there's two characters right there, because two characters gets the number one. Well, it could be non-printing characters. And if it was non-printing characters, like in this case, there's actually a uh, uh, word wrap character. If you know character in Excel, it's character 10 in all of these cells. So when we copied it, somehow that, that came over here. So what we could use, if we wanted to do it dynamically with a formula, and I'll show you another more a quick, immediate way to do it. But sometimes you need to do it with formulas. Then you use the clean. The clean function does not go to your house and clean your house. It simply takes data and removes non-printing characters. So you'd actually have to go inside of the LN and put the clean right around that. You actually have to put the clean around the cell that's looking at the text. And so clean goes here too. Close parentheses. Clean will remove all of those non-printing characters. Double click and send it down, and then our formula works. Another situation, extra spaces. So if I go up and get my formula, I'm going to copy this. And I'm actually going to copy it down here to all of these. All right because we'll look at a couple more examples. Extra spaces, I double click and send that down. Now you could uh, you know, edit these and see that there's some extra spaces. So if you need a formula, then you use the trim function, trim. The trim function does not give you a haircut. And darn it, it doesn't put give you a, a, a diet either. It actually removes all spaces except for single spaces between words. Right? So same thing as the clean. You just have to put the trim around the cell reference. And then double click and send it down, and that one works. Okay, so sometimes you need a formula, but there's one method that will fix all of these. If you have extra spaces, if you have non printing characters, or if your text just comes in, your numbers just come in as text. By the way, you can immediately see visually there's a problem because these are aligned to the left. This is from non printing extra spaces, this is from non printing characters. You could also just have it. Um, improperly imported as text. All right, so there's our formula. It gives us the wrong answer. There's our formula. But guess what? We can simply highlight. And I'm going to do this twice, because people that get bad data know the keyboard shortcut for this, and it is awesome. There's a feature called Text to Column. In 2007, you go to Data, Text to Column. In 2003, you just go to the Data menu. right? So the first time I'm going to do it the uh, long way, I hit Data, and then I click this, and then I'm going to click Finish. And it will inst you don't even have to click any of this junk, just Finish, and it will fix the problem. Now I want to do it, uh, I'm not going to do it this way, I'm going to do the keyboard shortcut Alt. And look up here, how do Alt keys work? A is for data. Now look up here, E is for columns. And then look here. It's ready to go to next, but I'm seeing an underline there, so I'm going to hit F. Now I'm going to do it in fast motion. I'm going to hit Escape, because I do this a lot. I get bad data. And you just Alt, A, E, F. And just like that, 
boom, it gets rid of because it, it like re-imports it as uh, and gets rid of extra spaces. Let's try it again here. This is the non-printing characters or it could be uh, that you have just text. Alt A E F. Boom, just like that. So those of you who have lots of junk from the internet with lots of non-printing characters or spaces or text number format, data, text columns, or if you have a formula, then you can uh, use the clean your house function. Or if you have spaces, you can use uh, give yourself a haircut or a diet function. All right, we'll see you next trick.